Okay, so we got no, no heat. So I want to do first thing. That vent looks like it was kinked. First thing I want to do is check that power. back there okay so the next thing we do is remove the bottom panel two clips on each side push in that thermo fuse probably gonna be the problem right under there take this off filter for that that's gonna cause a problem sooner or later take this off get underneath check the thermal fuse so I'm gonna bet it's gonna be that thermal fuse set the meter on tone so, get a tone there, that thermo fuse right there. And I like to take one lead off just to isolate it so we don't get a false reading. Um, actually, that is still good. That thermo fuse is still good. So it's probably going to be the heat element or that high limit thermostat on that heat element. So how much clothes do you put in? I would say halfway is good. Uh, basically, the machine was designed to run efficiently on a certain amount of clothes. There should be a poundage rating on your particular model. Um, but I like the idea about half full. So for most most efficient drying, always check your lint filter each load. And be sure that your dryer vent doesn't have any kinks in it. And you have airflow into the room. This room um, is not has flow there. No other flow. If this door is shut, so this is sliding. So that could allow enough air, even if it's closed. But I always like to have the doors open. Okay, so we're breaking this one all the way down. It's got a lot of lint built up. And so we're just going to take it apart, lube it up. On this particular model, the screws have to be removed from the back there. And screws up here. This will push forward. It will push forward once you have the screws removed. You have to lift it up and then push forward to clear these tangs here and then it will come right off then we need to take the the door switch loose and there are screws on the bottom and the springs need to be removed then we can take the whole front panel off so you don't have to remove this whole thing to replace that high limit but since this thing's full of lint and possible fire hazard, I'm going to clean it out, lube the moving parts, and fix the heat. There's the tech sheet. We got good flow here. But yeah, that's your tip for today. Your donations help support 
recycling and reuse worldwide. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Thank you for your support. If you need help, I can coach you over the phone for a fee, 707-443-8347. Thanks again.